Level 3, based on National Curriculum Level Descriptors. We're going to look at shape and space. So first up we've got understanding the connection between an angle and turning. Understand the connection between angles and turning. So, if we face north, so we do need to know which way is north, don't we? So let's do that first. That's north, isn't it? That's south. And what about this one and this one? Many ways of remembering it. I've got my way. I hope you've got yours. So we've got north, south, west and east on the compass. So if I face north and turn clockwise, so we also need to know that clockwise is going this way, and anti-clockwise must be going the other way. I face north, I turn clockwise to face south, what angle has been turned through? So if I start facing that way, which is north, and I turn around this way and face south, what angle have I gone through? Well, you should know that that's 180 degrees. That's a connection between turning and angles, isn't it? Let's look at this one. The minute hand points at the 3 and turns to point at the 6. What angle has been turned through? Well, the 3 is over there and the 6 is straight down there. So what angle is it turned through? It's turned through 90 degrees. So you should know that from pointing to the 3 to pointing to the 6 is turning through 90 degrees. A boy was facing the door, so we don't know which way the door is, it could be in any direction, and spun around once to face the door again. What angle did he turn through? So he was facing the door... And he turns all the way around, so he's facing the door again. In other words, one complete revolution, or one complete turn. And that's 360 degrees. So there's understanding and connection between angles and turning. To be able to find right angles, so we need to know that a right angle is a corner. So you pick up a video, the corner of the video is 90 degrees, so we need to be able to recognise 90 degrees and know 90 degrees. So name three right angles that can be seen in the classroom, where you could say corner of the window, corner of the classroom, and in fact use the word corner anyway, corner of the textbook corner of the blackboard or corner of the whiteboard. Name three right angles to be seen in the classroom. Look at the clock face. Between what two numbers must the minute hand move to pass through a right angle? Now in fact you can give lots of answers on this one. You could say pointing at 12 and then pointing at 3. Pointing at 12 and pointing at 3, that would move through 90 degrees. Or you could say pointing at 6 and pointing at 9. That would move through 90 degrees. And there are actually lots of other possibilities. Because you could say pointing at the 1, moving round and pointing at the 4. That would be moving through 90 degrees, so there are actually lots of possible pairs of numbers you could give so that the minute hand moves through 90 degrees. Well, the next thing, strangely, is to know what a right angle is and to know that it's 90 degrees. Well, I think I've said it all already. So 90 degrees is a right angle. Continuing to look at angles, we should know the terms acute angle, obtuse angle and reflex angle. We should know that an acute angle 
it's less than 90 degrees. That's an acute angle. We should know an obtuse angle is more than 90, but less than 180. And we should know that a reflex is over 180. Acute, less than 90 degrees. Obtuse, more than 90, but less than 180. And reflex is over 180. So label these angles with the correct name. So this angle here is under 90, so it's an acute angle. This angle here, well if you get the corner of the video again and pop it in there, you can see that it's more than 90, but less than 180, so that's obtuse. This one, less than 90. If you can't see that, then use something with a corner. So that's acute. This one, going around here, well that's going past 180, so that's reflex. This one is more than 90, but it hasn't got over 180, so that's obtuse. This one, less than 90, that's acute. And this one, more than 90, less than 180, obtuse. So we need to know those three words about angles.